the judiciary was under capture by agencies and he named many. He sent not only the government, not only the politicians, there is also the private sector, there is the civil society, there are ethnic cocoons, and there are also family members he named as people who are trying to capture the judiciary. This continues to be an active threat to the independence of the judiciary. My dear colleagues, the oath of office that I took so as to qualify to assume the office of the Chief Justice is not different from that which was taken by all of us, judges, magistrates, cadis, and members of the tribunals. No wonder in his after speech, after witnessing my signature, His Excellency the President was compelled to recite these profound words, reminding us we have to be impartial, we have to be independent, we have to be fair, power to protect the Constitution vests to us, given by the people of Kenya, to render service with integrity and competency, among other things. These words should never depart our hearts, and the fact that the power to exercise that authority is donated to us by the people of Kenya. We should strive to be fair and expeditious in our work. We are servants of the people. One area we should all guard is the independence of the judiciary. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenges we are facing today about independence and impartiality of the judiciary is an old heart. These words were delivered in a judgment at a time when judicial courage was and decision on independence were there. They continue to guide us today as we consolidate the gains achieved under our new constitutional dis dispensation. Justice Mandan set a high standard which we can achieve first as Kenyans and secondly as judges, judicial officers, cadis, and members of tribunals. Thankfully for us, judicial independence is anchored and ring fenced in the Constitution. It behoves on every judge, every judicial officer, to decline any invitation to rule on any case based on bias or ill will. Brother and sister judges and judicial officers, cadis, let us stick to the rule of law. Let us do that which the Constitution the law and our oath of office tells us to do. It tells us not to decide cases based on the direction of any party or authority. I also wish to assure you, colleagues, that we will respect and enforce the decisional independence of individual judges and magistrates. But we will also strive to ensure that all those who walk down the corridors of our courts will go home feeling that justice has been their shield and defender.